Is that him? It's gotta be. That's gotta be him. Well, back on the southern island of New Zealand. Ever been charged by a wild boar? Hello everybody, we are back here on Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2009. Alright, so it sounds like we're going to be going after Shammy and Fallow Deer. That's actually really cool. I didn't expect Shammy to be here, so... It's going to be interesting to see what they actually look like. I love the way Call of the Wilds looks, so... Hopefully, Big Game Hunter 09 did a decent job on the Shammy also. Uh, real quickly, we do need to try and figure out which direction we need to head to in order to actually get here. Looks like, actually, I believe these markers right here are probably side hunts, so... Let's see if we can do those. Alright, well, I just figured out what uh, causes that no footsteps bug, and I also just figured out how to fix it, so... Basically... Oh, oh my gosh. Well, that's not exactly as smooth as I was hoping that to uh, go, but we ended up getting it down at least. But anyway, as I was saying, I figured out that the way it happens is when you actually switch weapons. So just like that, our footstep audio is gone, and then I fixed it by going in here and re-equipping a different rifle. And now our footsteps are back, so it appears that that's really all you need to do to fix it, so glad that I know that now. So we just got a chamois track, which means there should be one near. Don't think I should leave here yet. Um, are we too far along the edge? I guess we gotta take out the chamois and fallow deer first before we can go anywhere. Ooh, there we go. There is a couple fallow deer. And that's a chamois too. Wow, that actually looks really good. I like the way that chamois looks. Let's take that chamois out first. Adrenaline's flowing. There we go. Oh, I tried to get the fallow. Ooh, that's a good fallow there. We're gonna have to wait for it to calm down, though. There's no way I'm gonna hit that shot. Well, we're gonna have to try and find this guy. He went down in this direction, so he shouldn't be too difficult. There he is. I'm not sure if we got that or not. I don't think we did. Reload soon. We definitely got that one, though. So we hunted the fallow deer, and actually... Oh wait, we actually did get both of them. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really surprised. We got both those fallow deer. Holy, that's insane. And there's the last chamois. Well then, <laughs> that was quite the chain of events, so I guess we finished those objectives. Let's see what we need to do now. So we just gotta meet, I believe, Lally Whitworth or Laley or something <laughs> But we got to go meet that person and they are actually behind us I gotta say so far. I'm enjoying this region quite a bit. New Zealand's been an absolute blast I'm just hoping that We'll get to hunt red deer on this hunt too because Last time when we hunted the red deer in New Zealand. It was a really short hunt it, the only thing we actually hunted was red deer we shot well, I mean, we shot a couple things before. I think it was fox I saw or. the size of those palmated antlers, and I knew I had a real trophy legend in my sights. Oh my gosh, giant fallow deer! Look at the size of that guy. Well then, curious where this guy's gonna be. Oh, so now we got to go across. Ooh, man, I forgot about these. Ooh, whew. so close. I think we're good, though. Got a hang of it for the most part. 
There we go. It says that he's over to our left. So I'm guessing he's down in the canyon, like we saw in the cutscene. Oh, yeah, there he is. There's that monster. Is that him? It's gotta be. That's gotta be him. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> That's uh, quite the way to get a trophy fallow deer. It legit ran into us, and <laughs> as we killed it, we took the picture, so that gets two of those objectives down. What do we need to do now? I'm actually not exactly sure, so we still need to just meet up with our guide, which is down below, it looks like. And there's our guide right there, so we finally found her. Let's go over here. We've got a problem you can help with. There's some wild boar that we need to get out of the area. Watch out for that big one, Snorty. He'll charge it, and you'll need some major firepower to stop him. And keep an eye open for Chucker. These birds are all over and provide great sport. All right, so we got to go after wild boar, and we just unlocked the 375. That's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to use this thing on some boar. That's going to be amazing. Oh, looks like we actually get to go for the chucker first. Let's give the 12 gauge semi first. This is actually going to go pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, there we go. Got all five of them. Nice. So, looks like the highest scoring one was actually the last one at 436. I think that's actually the highest score we've got on any of these bird species, so that's kind of cool. A lot of these other ones were pretty average scores, though, and 120% fire accuracy. So, I'd say it's safe to say we hit quite a few of those pellets. But we did manage to get one from 77 yards, which is not too bad at all. And it only took us 15 seconds, so even better. So, that is looking a lot like we're going to be fighting this boar. Based off of the location where he is right now, this could be interesting. I mean, they did say that he was a mean boar, so... I kind of imagined it would be like this, but... I wasn't sure. But this... Yeah, that looks uh, interesting, to say the least. This is going to be fun. I am... I had a little surprise for old Snorty. There he is. Old Snorty, eh? Alright. Let's see. Oh, yep, there's Snorty right there. I think I missed one of those shots, but we got the other into him. This is gonna be interesting. This thing is huge, though. My gosh. we definitely got both of those into him at least the first one the second one looked like it though there Bringing we go that down was a tough one can't say that I felt sorry for him though time to head back to Africa one last time okay so it looks like in the next uh, location it's gonna be Africa again so that's gonna be awesome so let's go ahead and look over the stats that we've got. It took 11 minutes and 25 seconds. We got all objectives completed. Best distance was 102 yards. We got six big game animals, six birds. Uh, not bad at all. Not bad. So let's go to the next region. Okay, so we're going to My Zambia this time. Was almost complete, but I found myself back in Zambia. This was to be my last hunt. Till now, I had hunted everything that Mother Nature could throw at me. But till now, I had never squared off with the king of the jungle. Oh, man. Arrived. We have a serious problem in the northern plains. Meet me there, and we'll talk. On your way, try shooting for yellow-throated sand grouse. Okay, this is actually going to be awesome. It sounds like we're going to be going for lion. That is going to be an awesome hunt. So, time to get that 375 equipped. And uh, before we actually go for the lion, let's do this mini game. We need to go for yellow throated sand grouse. 
I still hate this super zoomed in camera, but unfortunately I can't use anything else. There's one, and there's another one, but I can't quite turn clear to it. So we're just gonna have to wait for it. Almost there though. And there we go, number two is down. Oh, I just saw it turn red, and there we go. I think we just need one more. Ah, feeling focused. Empty. Ah, uh, there's that one, but we can't even get it. However, I just saw it turn red again. Oh, yep, right in here somewhere. However, this one's gonna be easier. So there we go, we got the yellow-throated sand grouse challenge done. Not too bad, we got a couple over 400. Doesn't look like anything too high over 400 though. So on to our next objective. So we gotta go find Bakil and then we also need to hunt the waterbuck trophy. So I'm actually kind of excited to go for the waterbuck trophy. I am really interested to see what a big waterbuck looks like in Big Game Hunter 2009. Go ahead and jump up here real quickly. And here's the camp. Welcome back. One of our biggest lions has developed a taste for cattle. He will have to be removed. We call him the beast. Look for his black mane. Also, look for the old abandoned lodge. Since you're going that way, try hunting waterbuck and Cape Buffalo. Ooh, Cape Buffalo. Quite finished. I'm excited for that. Cape Buffalo are going to be fun, and there's a cape right there. Get a good look at that guy. Honestly, that's not too bad looking. I like that. There we go. It's one cape down, and oh my gosh, everything just went running everywhere. Oh, hello there. That was an interesting death animation. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh and oh my gosh the way it stopped <laughs> that's insane all right well let's go for the water buck over here reload soon man i would love to have water buck in call of the wild that would be such a cool species. And I'd also like to see a location that's similar to, li to uh, this location. I think this would be a really cool place to have in Call of the Wild. It's just so, so much more interesting looking than Verhonga. I feel like Verhonga is cool, but it needs a little more varied landscapes. And I kind of prefer the more jungly locations in Africa. So if we got a location where we could actually hunt in an African jungle. I think that would be super, super cool. And let's get this guy. And I ran out of mouse pad space. But we got it on the second shot. So we completed all those objectives. Now we just need to check our objectives. And it's just to hunt the water buck trophy. So let's go check the map. And it's actually not showing anything yet. Which means we'll probably have to walk around a little bit before it'll trigger. Seeing a water buck that size gave me the goosebumps. I knew he'd make a trophy oh. legend. Oh my gosh, that thing's huge. Holy. That is a true giant water buck. My gosh. I honestly didn't expect it to be that massive. That is absolutely ridiculously huge. So I think that's him that I just saw right there. Yeah, that was for sure him. We'll kind of let him calm down because I want to get a nice close-up look at this guy. So we can really see how much of a giant he is. Oh, there he is. There is the giant water buck. My gosh, he's a monster. Something's telling me he's not going to give us a still shot, so we're just going to have to take him on the run. There he is, right there. And we got him down. And he actually landed in a pretty good spot too, so we can actually even now get a pretty decent look at him. Since it'll just take a picture of him and then he'll be gone, I did want to get a close-up look with the scope. And honestly, that's a really good looking water buck. I really hope these guys get added to Call of the Wild at some point. 
That is super, super cool. So I'm guessing the lion thing will happen soon then. Is that like some beat up cabin? Interesting. This has to be the area. This has to be the area where we get to face off against that lion. Well, here goes nothing. This should be interesting. So we found the abandoned lodge. I actually didn't know that was an objective. Interesting. Very interesting. We've always had trouble keeping the lions away from our cattle here, but this beast has become too much of a problem and much too dangerous. He is savage and he must be dealt with and removed. You have our permission to hunt this lion, but be careful. Good luck, my friend. I have a feeling this may be our last encounter. Man. <laughs> And we also have an objective to hunt five jackals, so that's pretty cool. Let's try to get these jackals down real quickly. That way we don't waste too much time on our way to get the lion. Oh, there we go. There is a jackal. That's one of them down. Question is, where's the rest? Hopefully, oh, there's one. Got that guy. And I don't think there's any more in this immediate area, so we will have to move around a little more and try to find them. There we go. I missed. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Not sure why it wasn't running, but I mean, not complaining about it. We only got one more jackal left to check off the list, and then we'll be able to take on that lion... I do believe at least and there we go we got him down so now we got to find a baiting area that's gonna be interesting all right so as you guys can see on the map this is the same scenario as the wild boar there's kind of like a pit in front of us and that's where we're headed for the baiting area great this is gonna be interesting and I just realized that we actually unlocked a 416 rifle this is definitely going to come in handy when it comes to taking on this lion because this thing's going to be tough. I can already tell. He was a beast, all right. I'd never seen an African lion like him before or since. Man, look at the size of him. Jeez, that thing is absolutely huge. So now we just got to find a way around into that baiting area. And then we should be golden. Well, this looks like the right way to go. Yeah, this is how we get in here. So now the objective is just hunt the beast. This is going to get interesting. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this thing's... Oh, does it not tell me which way to dodge? Nope, it, it doesn't. Out of ammo. All right then. Uh, somebody in the comments was telling me that this would be interesting when I finally got to the end, and yeah, that that was interesting to say the least. Uh, now that I know what to do, uh, this should be a little bit easier. Uh, let's make sure it actually equips the right rifle. So here we go. Let's hope this goes a little bit better than last time. Oh my gosh. Just keep going in circles. Empty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Empty. Oh my gosh. We actually got it down. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't help but feel a little sad after taking down the beast. My gosh, that was a lot harder the first time than it was the second time, but still not easy on that second one. You really have to do a ton of dodging to get around that thing, but man, that was a lot of fun. But anyway, I believe that is actually the end of the game. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, you have completed all of the missions, so we finally finished Big Game Hunter 2009, and that final hunt was an awesome one to say the least, so let's see if anything happens when we hit OK. Couldn't help but feel a little sad after taking down the beast.
I've been out hunting in the wide world so long and taking down so many trophies, I felt like there was nothing left to hunt. I reckon I'd head back to the wilderness. Maybe there I'd find something that could get the best of me. <laughs> but I ain't found it yet. Well, that is the end of Big Game Hunter 2009. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. This is honestly a shorter game than I remember it being, so... I mean, I guess it's kind of cool that we got to the end of it, but I'd say that when it comes to like the amount of content that's packed into it, uh, Outdoor Adventures definitely has a bit more, so I'm excited to get back into Outdoor Adventures, but I figured we'd do this game for a little while to kind of get a break from Outdoor Adventures and Call of the Wild and games like that, and I enjoyed it. It was a nice change of pace, a lot of fun to play and relive these moments from my childhood, but... I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I do post daily videos along with five live streams a week, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button. It's a massive help in getting these videos recommended to other viewers. And yeah, thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!